Let's take a look at what your client sees when they view the client portal. You can do this too, as you are testing and growing your client portal. You'll click on workspace settings, then client portal, and then permissions. Here is where you'll do all of the customization and all of the things that you wanna set up with permissions in your client portal. But right now we're just gonna take a look at what it looks like for your client. If you have more questions or wanna see something else about client portal, you can use our question mark here and click on client portal to read or watch other things about about the client portal. So if you want to see what it looks like for your client, you'll click on view portal as, and then you can see that for any client. So here's what my client portal looks like for my clients. I have set up um, a bit of code here that, by the way, I didn't make. I had Austin, who you will chat with in our help center if, uh, <laughs> you have any questions. Um, he helped me to create this. Uh, this is just to give you a quick idea. There is, if you are great at coding, you could make your co a complex welcome page. If coding is not really your jam, you could always just embed a quick video here as well to say hello, welcome your client. Um, you can upload it on YouTube as, a, uh, as an unlisted video. So um, you don't have to be too terribly stressed or however you like to welcome your clients. Uh, you can set up a custom page for them. They also will have access to their invoices if you grant them permission for this. Here's what their invoices will look like. They'll get a full history as well as a very quick visual uh, cue on things that are still due, like this one is late and this one is pending, and they get these pay now buttons that will allow them to pay uh, with your Stripe connection or PayPal connection if you have that. They'll get a report about uh, time and money. They'll be able to see where they're spending their money by project, um, and they can see each of the invoices, payments, their average days to pay, um, any deposit money that they have as well. Here they can set up a payment method. If you have a Stripe uh, connection, they'll be able to add and edit their payment methods here. And these are subscriptions. So if you are not using the automatic payment from uh, within Moxie, you can also set up a subscription billing. So this is going to, this is my active product where we are uh, charging this much, uh, $100 a month for this active product. And uh, you can see that I've sent this to them. Uh, this is all set up and managed within subscription billing. And basically it will charge their card uh, on the time period that I have set. And uh, they, the card will be saved on file for them. And then it will just charge this amount. Again, you can also just use that uh, automatic payments within Moxie, but Stripe does offer some subscription billing if you prefer it that way. In the Help Center, there is a whole article and a lot of things about creating subscription billing. That's what their invoices look like. You can also take a look at time worked. Now, this is only if you allow your clients to view the time per this project. So I, I've allowed my clients to see the time in each of these projects, but I'm working on more projects with them. I just don't have the time as viewable. They also get a quick report here as well where they can see the time worked per project. Within projects, you get to choose how you are working on these projects with your clients. So uh, this one, this is a read-only project, but they can see the time worked. In this case, I have only given them overview access. So they just see the payments and the rate about this project and the time worked is not visible. You can see the difference here. I can also offer for them to do a complete collaboration with me on a project. You can see that here under tasks. So in these projects, I can uh, allow them to take a look. This is a read only. Um, so they can make some comments, but they can't change any of the due dates or move it anywhere that they want to. Uh, However, if I did offer them full collaboration, now they can click and drag um, this project around. They get basically the same access to this as you have. So they can edit a start date, they can edit the due date, they can change the status, they can add details and tasks and subtasks. So depending on how much collaboration you wanna do with your client, you'll set that up within your account uh, under each project. They'll also get a timeline if they prefer to view in a Gantt chart as well. 
Here are the agreements that they have with you. So if they ever have a question, they always have access to uh, go back and reference that. You can allow meetings to be booked. You'll toggle this on in your meeting scheduler, but here's how it will look for your client. They can choose to book this type of meeting and then they can schedule this meeting. They'll also be able to easily uh, take those meetings under this booked meeting and uh, reschedule if they need to. And finally, these are your requests and tickets. So if there is something that your client is always submitting because they need a blog or they need um, kind of update work, you can create a form that makes them fill out the information that you need to have in order for you to complete their request. So when they need to uh, submit a request, they'll click new request. This is uh, the form that I created and then they'll submit that request. And then they'll be able to take a look at the request. They'll be able to see what they wrote. They'll be able to see any comments that you made, add any attachments, and they'll be able to add comments here as well. And that's a whole look at your client portal. Of course, you, oh, and you can also have an iframe here as well. So I have iframed my uh, a quick form in here, but uh, while not every site is able to be iframed, if it is, you can also add that here. You can also add an external link and you can have uh, some client specific pages. So if you want one client to view this uh, specific welcome page and you have another client with another welcome page, you could uh, create separate pages for each client. That's a quick overview of what it looks like for your clients. So they'll get notifications here if they have things that need to be done. And they'll also be able to change the language and update the theme for their viewing if they would like. Again, if you've got more questions about Client Portal and how you set all of those things up, you'll want to take a look at our Help Center. That's here, and then you'll click on Client Portal.